President Trump's doctor, Ronnie Jackson, also released the results of the president's first routine medical exam. We ran through some of those yesterday. That exam happened on Friday. What was unique is that President Trump is the first president to have a cognitive exam. And Rob, on the surface, many said this test didn't look too hard. You checked it out. Yeah, I've kind of become an expert on this exam over the last 24 hours, Courtney. And even though we mentioned it yesterday here on Brightside, I wanted to kind of take a deeper dive this morning. The president took something called the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. It was created in 1996. Now it's used all over the world as an indicator of any cognitive problems someone might be having. It's also used to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. And I was actually talking with my mother yesterday, who is a nurse, and she said that my grandfather actually took this same test in 1998 before he was formally diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. So here is what the test looks like. It usually takes about 10 minutes and scores range from zero to 30. If you want to take the exam yourself, we posted a link on our website, WTSP.com. I've also posted a link on my Facebook page. Anything over 26 is considered normal. People with mild mental problems averaged a score of 22.1. People with Alzheimer's disease averaged a score of 16.2. The president, by the way, scoring a perfect 30 for 30 on this test. So this is an example of one of the questions. The subject is asked to draw a clock with the hours showing the time 2.30. This is what a normal person would draw right here. You can see it clearly says 2.30. This is someone with mild mental impairment, and this is what somebody with Alzheimer's would draw. You can see the numbers there are totally jumbled. Other questions include things like naming the animals. Pretty easy, something my 17-month-old daughter could do. Camel, rhino, lion, very simple stuff. Another question asks you to repeat drawing this 3D box right here in the blank space there. Fairly easy stuff. Now the exam is designed to test your attention, your memory, and your visual skills, which according to doctors are the first things to go in people with dementia. Now the president, again, he's the first president ever to take a cognitive exam, but he's also the oldest guy ever elected to the office. And here is some interesting food for thought. Police officers, astronauts, and members of the military are all required to take cognitive and even psychological evaluations, but elected officials, including congressmen, senators, and yes, the president are not.